up guys welcome back it's your girl jazz and as you can tell I'm a little bit in the holiday spirit right now just a little bit so we're gonna try out some Santa I mean excuse me not Santa Claus it's one of Claus's ice cream in case you don't know who that is you've been living under a rock obviously no you haven't been yes I'm that corny <laughs> the rock uh, Dwayne the rock Johnson to be specifically has come out with some ice cream. I believe The Rock said that it came out last year. I could be mistaken, but this is my first year trying it. So we're gonna try out some of his ice cream, his naughty and nice ice cream to be exact. We've got five different flavors. We're gonna start out with the nice one because that's me, all nice. At least I try to be. At least that's my goal. One day I will be okay. <laughs> We're gonna try it out. The flavor is PB and J. I'm gonna quote him, so please do not penalize me, YouTube. PB and jelly, which is pretty badass and jelly. Banana coconut pancakes. That's a mouthful. So we're gonna try this out. So this is what it looks like on top. Nah, I don't smell nothing. I'm thinking I'd at least to be able to smell peanut butter. It looks like there's a big chunk of pancakes here. Still don't smell anything, so we're gonna try this out. Hopefully, not make a bigger mess than I already am. All right, Rob. This is very interesting flavor. The major critique I have, and if you if you've seen any of my videos or anything like that, especially my food videos, you guys know I'm not a huge fan of coconut. And it's mainly the texture. So that's the first thing that I have to say about that. I don't like the texture of it. But otherwise, it's different. And you do, do get you do get multiple textures in there. You get you've got the pancake, which is the breading. You've got the coconut, which I don't really see it in here. And it looks like chocolate chips, I think, is in here. Let me see what else. Peanut butter and jelly banana i do taste a little bit of hint of banana but it's not super strong granted i did just take one bite so far i'm trying to see about the pieces in here so i see the the, the pancakes in here i felt the texture when i was eating of the of the coconut let me show you I don't have too much peanut butter taste to it. <laughs> as soon as I said that, I'm starting to chew. And I'm thinking these little, what looks like chocolate pieces, which you really can't tell on camera right now. It's a chocolate in there, but it has a bit, bit of a peanut butter in there. So it's a very unique mix. I mean, there are big chunks of pancakes in here. I will say that much. And the pancake pieces that are in there, they're really big pieces, but they're not mushy or anything like that. I'm guessing the way they made it, a bit of a drier texture for lack, you know, for comparison. It doesn't taste dry, but it kind of has that hard, dry taste to it, so to speak. Not bad. All right, so that was the nice one. Should we go straight from naughty to nice, or are we going to try the ones in between first? Let's see, what is it? It is Naughty Nutty Tipsy Toasty Terramana Pecan Pie. That one might be saved for last. We're going to save that one for last. Because you can't have Terramana ice cream without a Terramana drink. Please drink responsibly, by the way. <laughs> and only if you're over 21. You know, got to have that disclaimer in there. And as always, we're going to have the nutritional facts on the side up here. I didn't do it for the not for the naughty one or for the nice one, excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that one up here for the nice. Now we're going to move on to, ooh, let me see what flavors we got here before I decide. All right. So Terramanas are going to be my last two. Chocolate gooey brownie or double filled vanilla. I love my chocolate, so I'm going to go with my chocolate. 
Okay, that's weird. My nut tea, or my nice did not have a cover on it, but my chocolate did. I guess because, I don't know. I was trying to think of a reason, but I can't think of a reason. I'm going to go right into it. So, you can't really see much into it other than a nice flat surface of chocolatey gooeyness. Oh, 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 nope. Chocolate, you got to stay in the container or go in my mouth. All right, chocolate gooey brownie. Sense is not very strong. So, that strike one rock. Let's not get three strikes. Actually, technically you've already got two, but we're gonna do it per ice cream. Oh, okay. I see the brownie bits now. You gotta dig into it to get the brownie bit. Cause that first piece, the first bite I took, it was strictly chocolate. But now I see the chunks. You guys can see it right here too. It's very doughy, obviously. But I was thinking it was gonna be more of that crunchiness to it. But that's not the case. And in general, as far as ice cream goes, I'm not a huge chocolate person, but yeah, I can deal with this. Every now and then I'll get a spark where I'm just like, I want some chocolate ice cream, but very rarely. I'm more of a vanilla person. But I like the chunks in it. It's very chocolatey. And the brownie bits are, are chewy, but they're not gummy. It does to stick to your teeth a little bit though. I gotta stick with the classics, and so far, we got to do double chocolate, PB and J. Before I forget, once again, we got the chocolate gooey brownie nutritional facts right here. You guys can pause the video so you can see all the details if you want to. And it looks like all of these contain milk, so if you're allergic to milk or can't drink milk or don't want to drink milk, sorry guys, it's not for you. But the double fold vanilla. Nutritional facts right here, so I don't have to go back and remember to do that. Um, vanilla ice cream. Yeah, I can't smell nothing. Oh, I like how smooth it looks. Yep, I can do this one. Mm -hmm. mm. I wonder if I mix chocolate and the vanilla. Ooh, that might be good. With the brownies and the vanilla. Yeah, I can do that. Well, it needs to make the double fold vanilla with the brownies mixed in. That would be good. Maybe I just might have to make some brownies so I can eat it with this ice cream. I like that one. Nothing 100% hugely spectacular about it. It just tastes like vanilla ice cream. It's not super sweet though, but it is very creamy. And I like the fact that it is very subtle. It's not like where you could just take one bite and it's like, oh no, I, that's way too sweet. I've had ice cream like that. When I'm in a really, really sweet mood, that's what I want. But for overall, I like this one. It was very creamy. Alright, I need to move on to the next one because I will eat this whole pint on camera. Don't judge me. Yes. Curiously delicious. Mm. Alright, now we're going to go for Duanta's Terramana Spiked Eggnog. Now I will say I've never had eggnog, at least that I can recall. Soberly. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I don't think I've ever had it, but I'm not 100% sure. Because I've been given drinks before and not knowing exactly what it was, but from what I've heard, if I've had eggnog, I would know that I've had eggnog, so I don't think I have. Also, I don't necessarily trust what my dad gives me, because he will mix a drink, and I don't know what's in it, but I might like it, so. But I've also heard the Puerto Rican drink, Coquito, which is also a little, little frog that they have in Puerto Rico. 
Um, that is similar to eggnog, and I like that. So I'm not, like I said, I'm not 100% sure, but we're gonna try it out. Coquito and eggnog are the same. Frost start nutritional facts. Y'all know when it comes to food, I just want to try it. <laughs> I'll let y'all guys worry about that other stuff later. <laughs> I'm half red heart. I can't help it. It's not bad. It does have a very strong cinnamon kick to it. It's different. Oh. Has egg yolks in it? Oh. Press the bottle. Is that what it is? No, I've got blanco. I'm looking at the nutritional facts, the ingredients in it. So it has the respaldo. I guess how you pronounce it. I've never actually heard it pronounced, so I'm not 100% sure. And if I asked my dad how to pronounce it, I barely understand him speaking English, so there's no way that I can understand him in Spanish. <laughs> but yes, I have the blanco, not the Repasado. And yes, I'm butchering it. Yes, I'm Hispanic and I cannot pronounce it. Oh well. Take it or leave. All I care about is how it tastes. I do taste the cinnamon nutmeg in it. Actually, it's just nutmeg that I'm tasting. There's no cinnamon. Which is super strong. So if you don't like nutmeg, this may not be for you. Over in general, I'm not a fan of that spice to it. Sorry, Rock. Not a fan of it. Mm -mm. Can't do it. It's not bad, but the, the spice, that nutmeg spice is way too strong for me. So unfortunately, hopefully your pecan pie, I guess I'm going very country with that one, pecan pie. Tastes really good. It is the naughty, nutty, tipsy, toasty, terramana pecan pie. Alrighty then, let's try this one out. For our start, nutritional facts right here, or here, or here, or here, somewhere, I'm not sure where. I just know I get to put on video. Thank you to my great editor. Mwah. Because I can't watch myself. <laughs> I'll be the first one to admit to it. All right. I may have got a little tipsy off that first couple of bites of ice. No, I'm not that much of a lightweight. <laughs> I'm just very clumsy and I can't get this open. Ooh, ooh, I see that caramel in there. Okay. Yes, I can deal with this. I will say it is very sweet. but I like it. It has the textures, like the graham cracker texture in there to give you the, the crust. Now keep in mind, I've only started digging on the top, so I'm pretty sure that there's gonna be more pecan and praline and all that other good stuff towards the middle or more towards the middle. I haven't hit any pecans yet, but overall, I like this one. I think this one might be my favorite one. Oh, 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 there it goes. Ooh, try not to make a mess. I think this is a good piece. I got a lot of mix of a lot of different things. You can have a pecan pie with no pecans. I do taste the, I guess the gooiness of the middle of the pecan pie, not the top layer, obviously with all the pecans in it, the, the gooey middle, the praline type of part. And that's what I taste and it's really good. I don't have any alcohol flavor in it though. I don't taste any of the terramana. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> Let's see what all comes on in here. Has tapioca syrup, eggs, Pie crust. I know I tasted some of that. Butter, water, cane sugar, blah, blah, blah. 
It so it does have pecans in it, but I don't have any. It must be like really fine, finely chopped up. I do taste the molasses in there. And again, it has the terramana in there. So it's more like pecan pieces. It's not exactly big chunks of it. I'm actually going to buff this up. I'm going to rank the chocolate and the vanilla on its own. Because, I mean, those are just kind of basic flavors, in my opinion. And then you've got the unique Duanta Claus flavors. And I'm going to rate those separately. So we've got definitely pecan pie is going to be first. Um, then I'm going to go with the pancakes and the eggnog. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to go with vanilla and obviously the gooey brownie. Now, they're both good, don't get me wrong, but I'm more of a vanilla person in general. So that's my ranking of these. I'm curious to know what your opinions are if you've tried this. I'm not sure if it's still on sale. I'm not sure if it's gonna go on past the holidays either. Um, hopefully it is, so you guys can try it out. It is a bit pricey, I will let you know that up front after shipping. Yeah, the products itself, I think it ran about $115, I believe. I know, I know, but, you know, for something different, something unique, at least worth a try once in a while. So that's part of the reason why I had to try it. And then, come on now, The Rock, I had to. Now, if it was up to me, okay, it was up to me what I wore. I thought about wearing my Rock Under Armour attire, because I do have a workout outfit that... I wanted to have my <laughs> rock headphones on. I wanted to have my Zoa drink. And I wanted to end it off with a toast with you guys. But I wanted to go a little bit more festive too. So I had to kind of tone it down a little bit. I had to, you know, instead of going for a rock size video, you know, kind of more like pebble. I do a little bit. <laughs> If not, I blame the ice cream. <laughs> you guys are only getting a little tidbit of my corniness in my videos. I'm sorry to tell you this because I get so much worse in person. I really don't. I did it. I opened it. <laughs> because of the holidays, I want to toast to you guys. I'm not sure if I'm gonna post any more videos for the rest of the year. I have a couple more videos that I'm gonna do for the holidays, but in case I don't post any more food videos for the end of the year, I just wanna wish you guys a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays if you celebrate any other holidays. And I wanna be able to say that I hope I was able to introduce some new treats to you guys. And hopefully we can get in some new, some new treats, possibly even some cooking next year. We'll see what it holds. In the meantime, stay tuned, stay jazzy. Thanks for watching, guys.